Hi students, intermediate second year English medium students. We successfully completed the first unit. So many concepts were discussed by the previous videos. In this video, <coughs> I am going to analyze the second unit. So, so many concepts are there in second unit also. So, in the second unit, I am going to analyze in this video particularly. Namely, first of all, second lesson demography demography and uh, human resources development demography and the human resources development concept is there. So here two concepts are there. One is the demography concept is there. Second one is the human resources development is there. That one stand. Demography. Demography means nothing but the population. <clears throat> and uh, human resources development. And let by let me say one by one. First of all, we are going to analyze the demography. And later we go to discuss the human resources development. First of all. I am going to analyze the demography. In the demography, the concept is theory of theory of demographic transition. Theory of demographic transition. What, sir, what is the theory of demographic transition? The theory of dem demographic transition was introduced by Malthus. So, he was analyzed the theory of demographic transition. What, sir, what is the, the theory of demographic transition? According to Malthus, is the name of the economist, T.R. Malthus, what he says that here, any economy is a process into three stages. Any economy, which developed countries or developing countries, possess into three stages, which means one is first stage or one. First stage, birth rate is very high, and the second, death rate is also very high. Simple. Then population stable first stage then second stage birth rate br means birth rate is a uh, very high and uh, then death rate is a uh, low there is a population Explosion. Next, third stage. In the third stage, birth rate is low as well as death rate is also low. So it is a possibility of a stable. So this is the explanation of a, the theory of a demographic transition was developed by T.R. Malthus. What he says that, so the theory of a demographic transition was measured in terms of a birth rate and a death rate. So what is the birth rate in a country, in, a, in the country, birth rate as well as the death rate. So according to this census, we can explain what is the position of the country, what is the situation of the country, we can analyze. Here, let me say the three stages. So what is the first stage and the second stage and third stage. See, here. in the first stage, there is a high birth rate. What is the high birth rate? Due to the lack of illiteracy, due to the lack of awareness about the family planning, and most of the peoples are following the old, uh, what is it, beliefs, 
due to in the initial stage there is a high birth rate and they have no knowledge the small family small family so and they have no knowledge about the and the operations family planning operations due to in the initial stage there is birth rate is very high no no in the olden days you know there is a number of children are there in your family but nowadays the uh, family is uh, uh, reduced but in the olden days the number of children are there in a single family so high birth rate is there why why because the most of the people are waiting for the male boy male male baby and the most of the people are illiteracy and they have no knowledge how to how many children they want to get and they have no knowledge how to the family planning awareness okay and they are all total illiteracy persons due to in those days there is a high birth rate is there okay as well as the death rate is also very high why because no sanitation no health facilities no education facilities and no family planning okay due to lack of the medical facilities most of the people who are died and epidemics so death rate was is also was also very high in the initial stage birth rate is high and the death rate is also very high due to population stable try to understand population is stable let me say see here for example See this. What is this? Means, for example, it is a pond or a tank. So the flow is very high. The water flow is very high, and the the water is going to release from the tank is also very high. So the water is limited. The water is limited. Limited means. the canals or water is a flow is very high and the raise in the water from the tank or canal or pond will be also very high due to there is no damage of damage of the tank or pond or tank or what am i why because enni neelu ostunnayo anni neelu velipothunnayi ikkada problem ledhu okay cheru tegadu cheru problem ledhu no damage problem ledhu so in the same manner the birth rate is high as well as the death rate is also very high so population stable here yeah, the population is stable and uh, go to the second stage in the second stage uh, there was a the death rate was rapidly declined what sir why the death rate was rapidly declined illiteracy people are they aware the they are educated and the medical facilities are expansion and the health facilities are expansion and the income of the people also increases and our uh, awareness will be also is leads to the high death rate and vaccinations of epidemics cholera and the small pox so vaccines are there due to the death rate was rapidly declined but the death birth rate was as well as same at the initial stage and the second stage the birth rate was same okay but the death rate was rapidly declined due to the medical facilities and sanitation facilities and uh, literacy educated people and so many causes leads to the low death rate due to there is a population explosion simple try to understand there is a population explosion this is second stage we are in the second stage what happened birth rate was as well as in the previous stage and the death rate was rate was declined let me say see here here as well as the water is coming the same flow the water is coming same flow but the releasing water is a uh, this is birth rate 
the birth rate is as well as but the death rate was declined this is a death rate okay intaka mundu elagaithe vastunnayo anni water vastunayi kaani release ayye water em avutundi tagipoyi ikkada takko chesestam eppudu idi takko chesestamo automatic ga em avutundi idi damage so ikkada jarigindi mana kade ఓకే సో ఇంతకు ముందు లేక ఇక్కడ ఎక్కువ ఉన్నప్పుడు ఇక్కడ కూడా ఎక్కువ ఉంటే ప్రాబ్లం లేకుండే కానీ సో ద ఫ్లో ఆఫ్ వాటర్ ఈజ్ వెరీ హై బట్ ద రిలీజింగ్ వాటర్ ఆఫ్ ట్యాంక్ ఆర్ పాండ్ ఈజ్ వెరీ లో డ్యూ టు దెర్ ఇస్ అ డ్యామేజ్ ఆఫ్ పాండ్ ఆర్ ట్యాంక్ సో దెర్ ఇస్ అ పాపులేషన్ ఎక్స్ప్లోజన్ ఓకే దెన్ థర్డ్ స్టేజ్ it is a under developed countries the first stage is under developed countries this is developing countries or a developing economy and the third stage is birth rate is very low the people are illiteracy people the people are most of the people are educated and they have no how many children they have to maintain and they want to the maintain the small families they want to maintain in the small families due to the birth rate is very low small family they having the only the small family due to the birth rate is very low okay and uh, death rate was also very low good sanitation good health facilities and good medical facilities and good environment and no uh, epidemics due to the death rate was rapidly decline but death rate was decline and the birth rate was also decline there is a population stable to understand in the first stage no problem in the second stage no problem third stage no problem but the problem is only the second stage and moreover we are in the second stage we are suffer with the population explosion why why the situation has came means this is a situation birth rate is as well as the same the death rate was rapidly declined we are in the population explosion so this is the second stage when go to the third stage see here this is the third stage ennaithe vastunnayo malli anni motham emothune bayitki velipothundi so no tension no problem in first stage and no problem in third stage but the second stage is very dangerous stage we are in the second stage so this is the explanation of gr malthus in the form of the theory of demographic transition okay so this information i can uh, explain you with a diagram see here this is the explanation of uh, the theory of demographic transition what is the explanation see here in the first stage birth rate death rate both are equal birth rate and the death rate both are equal same and the death rate was also birth rate was also same in the second stage this is first stage and this is second stage and this is third stage birth rate first stage and the second stage same no changes but the death rate was decline okay and then in the third stage birth rate slowly decreases and uh, death rate uh, decreases to in the third stage birth and death rate both are decreases in the third stage here first stage here second stage stage okay so this is the way of the explanation of uh, the theory of demographic transition which was developed by or explained by tr malthus okay students so this is the the theory of demographic transition mostly important question thank you thank you very much